I'm Miss Lish here at the well, and today we're going to do an art project. We are going to make a wind sock that looks like a cloud and a rainbow. This is a great craft for kids of all ages to do with their families, and you can take it for a walk when you're all done. You can hang it outside, you can hang it from your bike or your scooter, and let the wind blow it all around like a jellyfish. All right, this is what you'll need today to do this craft. We need some blue paint and a brush and a paper towel roll. I've already painted this one blue, so it's all set for us for this craft. You'll need a hole punch, scissors, streamers. These um, party streamers work really well because they blow nicely but yarn or ribbon will work too. You'll need a piece of ribbon or string to tie it on the top, a piece of white paper and some pens to make your cloud, and of course, tape. Who doesn't need tape for everything? Okay, so the first step is to get your paper towel tube or your toilet paper tube, and with your hole punch, two holes. That's where you're going to tie your string. When that's done, you can paint it blue. Done. After that, it's time to cut the streamers. Think about how long you want them to be, if you want them to be all the same length or different lengths. I'll keep mine all the same length. So I'll just measure them together. About that long. Okay. And cut and I'll do two more of each color. There we go. Looks like actually I think that's going to be enough. That'll be enough for my wind sock today. With my tape, carefully with clear tape, I am going to stick it on and then slip it on the inside. Nice and slow. This could be an activity for your child to practice some problem solving. And if it's too hard to tape it on the inside, you can always tape it on the outside. Where you can see it, that's a little bit easier. On the inside. Oops, got stuck to my finger. No big deal. There's two, I'll do two more in my pattern. White, pink, white, pink. Today our windsock is going to look like a rainbow, but you could very easily make it look like an octopus. Think of other things, other creatures or objects you can make your windsock look like. There we go, our streamers are attached. All right, next up is we need to add a cloud. So with my white paper, I am just going to cut out by eyeballing the shape of a cloud. You can always pre-trace it, of course. If you trace it, you can have your child practice cutting on the lines. I'm just making a weavy pattern here. There we go. There's my cloud. My cloud needs something. It needs a face. So I'll add some eyes. Let's see. Maybe I'll make a surprise cloud. One eyebrow up. There we go. It's really windy today. The cloud is surprised. With my tape, I'll do the loop thing so it's double-sided. If you have double-sided tape at home, that's perfect too. Stick my cloud on the front. Wow! My cloud's pretty big, so I think I need to add a little more tape to make sure it's secure. Having too much tape is always better than having not enough. And then you go for a walk and it falls off, that would be... That would not be so fun. 
There we go. There we go. So my cloud is securely attached. Now all I need to do is add my ribbon. Just insert it into the holes in the top. I've seen people make uh, these wind socks out of all sorts of materials. You could even use string with beads. If you have little shrinky dink paper, you could make shrinky dinks and hang them from a wind sock and then it almost sound like a wind chime when they click together. Click, 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 click. Ah, beautiful. Now I have two wind socks to take for a walk. Well, I hope you enjoyed this craft. Make it your own. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more YouTube videos and be well. See you next time.